Hey guys, it's Kim. Today our topic is principles for designing multimedia. There are three kinds of cognitive processing in total, which are extraneous, essential, and generative. After taking a quick look of each description, I believe you are still confused about what they are. Hmm. Don't worry. Today we will focus on the first part. Reducing extraneous processing, which contains coherence, signaling, redundancy, spatial contiguity, and temporal contiguity. Now let's begin with the easiest one: the signaling principle. People learn more deeply when cues are added that highlight the essential material because it will call their attention to the important stuff, so that they can learn more effectively. Even for this definition, within 10 seconds, after changing the key sentence into red, this little behavior has made a big difference, which can make us understand the principle in a much clearer way. Before moving on, please see something cute first. Okay, the coherence principle. People learn more deeply when extraneous material is excluded rather than included, so that we are better able to focus on the essential material, since nothing else can distract us. Upon watching this motion stop animation, what did you focus on? The main subject, the little girl, or the little boy? It happens all the time. When we are learning something new, our teachers and some of the learning platforms always add something not related to the subject in order to arouse our interest. However, it depends on the purpose and the use of the so-called extraneous stuff. For example, the background music would be okay. Let's see what will happen if we delete the two children and add the background music. Here comes the redundancy principle. People learn more deeply from graphics and narration than from graphics, narration, and on-screen text. It's because the redundant presentation may let people waste precious processing capacity on the printed words rather than the relevant portions of the graphics.、Mm, for example, this slide is not good enough. If I were to read it along with you being able to read it. It will actually cause a little bit of the overload, as you were reading it, and I said, "Basketball is a limited contact sport played on a rectangular court, while most often played as a team sport with five players on each side. Three on three, two on two, and one on one competitions are also common. Again, it's redundancy. If I only show you the picture." You will be able to learn more because you can focus on the photo while you're listening to my narrations. You are still using both of your senses, eyes and ears, rather than use them on the same topic. That's a waste. Again, take a little break and watch this clip. The spatial contiguity principle. People learn more deeply when the printed words and graphics are presented near rather than far from each other on the page or screen. Obviously, it is a bad example. If we want to know what's the ingredient of the flower, we need to see A. Hmm, it's baby carrot. It will definitely waste our time because the words are not near the pictures. Now let's see the good example. Finally, the temporal contiguity principle. People learn more deeply when the corresponding graphics and narration are presented simultaneously rather than successively, because it helps learners build connections between corresponding words and graphics. For example. When we are teaching students how to change saturation to make the food photo look better, 
As long as we adjust the saturation into a higher point, the meat will look more juicy, the vegetables will look more fresh, even the main dish, fried rice, will look much better. However, if I show my students all of the pictures after the narration, the effect would be not as good as the formal version. As long as we adjust the saturation into a higher point, the meat will look more juicy, the vegetables will look more fresh, even the main dish, fried rice, will look much better. Okay, this is the end for part one, reducing extraneous processing. I hope you can enjoy my class and see you next time. Bye bye.